x as the only unknown, so for x by quadratic formula, yeah, just done sa thicknesses lang, therefore you have a significant force team analysis, analysis. but ito, I think uh, that is here bearing in the parts of equation na to. So what I need, locate na to ang neutral axis and we compute the moment of inertia of the crack section for the area above that is one third b h cube for the area below which is equivalent to a strip you know? so you have NAS times the square of the distance okay? 1 7, 0.5 minus x 1 b square you have the calculation here then we compute the crack the cracking moment so that is the moment at which the tensile stress in the concrete will be equal to the tensile capacity of concrete. In other words, it is the moment that we initiate cracking of the section. We saw that using the flexor formula. No? The flexor formula F is equal to MC over I. What we saw for M, so you have FI over Y. Okay? So F R is your tensile modulus of concrete or fracture modulus multiplied by Ig, which is the gross moment of inertia, and y t, that is the distance from the neutral axis to the extreme tension fiber. No? So, we are referring to the crack section. Tension and is almost, no? So, at the y t, distance from the neutral axis to the bottom fiber. Okay? Then, Next, we calculate the maximum applied moment. This is unfactored, no? Unfactored. So, kapan tayo mo, kinisiyag ang mga values. Kapag tayo rin sa atong load calculation. Okay. So, 
compute ang iyong reflection. Diba? Okay, pag compute ang iyong reflection, for example, yung pwede po load, yung ang formula, itong 5WL to the 4th over 384 EI. Kung sa mga I, ang iyong gamito. I gross ba? Ang I gross, mo po na direct, no? Kasi siya gross mo ito, binar siya pa rin direct. Oo, so, mga grab. Ang atong I effective, saan na na direct, no? Kung iyong full na uh, lecturer crack but in between so what's so my eye ni mo lihat so your eye is not constant but so to simplify the calculation the code just requires us to compute what we call effective moment of energy to compute that when I to look at condition na to verify no? if the ratio MA over MCR is less than 1 So that means that your applied moment is less than the cracking moment, then the beam does not have, does not crack, no? And you can use the gross moment of inertia, no? When an IE is equal to IG. But if your ratio MA over MCR is greater than 3, so meaning that the applied moment is greater than 3 times, no? The cracking moment, so there is already extensive cracking, And therefore, your effective moment of inertia is equal to the inertia of your crack section. Now, in between, between 1 and 3, we use this empirical formula. No? But the value that we get here is not exit IG. Okay, IG will be like an upper limit. No? So, applying this condition in this particular case, so our applied moment is 262, MCR is 19. 96, you get to 2.73, so that is within this value, no? So we use this formula to bring for the effective moment of inertia. Now there is a calculation, then after that, we apply no? the reflection formula. So kung ba na karoon, kung sa mga reflection formula, kung simply supported, kaya ito ay formula, Reflection, simply supported, and uniformly distributed at low. At on 5WL to the board, over 384 EI. Kung fully restrained at both ends, sa may formulas reflection, Well, I buy, no? Well, I buy double equal to the board over 384 EI RAM. So, it's simply supported 5, like 5 times, no? But this one is neither simply supported nor restrained at both ends. Okay, so, the now, no? multiplied to meter to the fourth, then the resulting 
The result will be kilonewton meter cube. No? Kilonewton meter cube. Convert kilonewton to newton that's 10 to the 3. Convert meter cube to mm cube that's 10 cube cube. No? 10 to the 3 raised to the 3. So 10 to the 3 raised to the 3 that is 10 to the 9 times 10 to the 3 you get 10 to the 12. No? Uh, conversion factor to express the unit for reflection in millimeters. So we have here 3.43 millimeter, the allowable is 21.53, so we are within the allowable limit. Now that is as regards the immediate deflection, but we have also to check for long-term deflection. Most of these are the calculation for long-term deflection calculation. So we compute the compressive uh, steel ratio at mid span. So, pila may compression bar sa mid span. There should be at least two, no? Two uh, bar sa top bar at mid span. So, that's two times uh, 490, which is the area of 25 mm diameter. Then, BW the width of the width, and the effective depth. So, we get an answer of 0 0.0608. Lalison, 
Now the reflection of the sustain low is just the ratio. I 